Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Simple Science. Today's project will be a homemade electrometer. An electrometer is an instrument for measuring electrical potential, or static charge, without drawing any current from the circuit involved. The supplies you'll need for this week's experiment are as follows. A glass bottle with a cork stopper. I got this one at a local craft supply store for about $2. A completely metal cabinet knob with its associated screw and a bag of washers. Some large paper clips. Some aluminum foil. Small pliers with a wire cutter. Scissors. A power drill with a drill bit slightly larger than the screw that came with the cabinet knob. Okay, let's get building. After putting on your safety glasses, use the power drill to drill a hole as close to the center of the cork as possible. Stack some washers onto the screw that came with the knob and push it up through the bottom of the cork. Take one of your paper clips and unbend it to form this U shape. Use the wire cutter on the pliers to cut the two ends to an even length. Place this U shape around the screw between the bottom two washers. Screw the cabinet knob onto the screw at the top end of the cork. Tighten it so that it holds the paper clip at the bottom firmly, but not so tight that it deforms the cork. Using the small pliers, bend the ends of the paper clip straight downward. Again using the small pliers, bend the ends of the paper clip into the L shape shown in the photograph. Take a piece of aluminum foil and cut two thin strips about two inches long. Using another paper clip, fold over the top quarter inch of each of the aluminum foil strips. This will be the hinge that these strips will swing on. Hang each strip of aluminum foil from the bottoms of the L-shaped paper clip. Then insert the entire assembly into the bottle. You should now see the two aluminum foil strips hanging straight down parallel to each other. If all went well, you now have a working electrometer capable of detecting the presence of an electric charge. But where do we find an electric charge? Remember those balloons we used in last week's barometer experiment? Inflate one and run it vigorously back and forth across your hair. This will generate a static charge. When you rub your hair against a balloon, charge transfer occurs and static electricity is produced. In simpler terms, if you rub a balloon against your hair, the balloon will steal electrons from it, which leaves your hair positively charged and the balloon negatively charged. Hold the charged balloon close to the knob at the top of your electrometer. What happens? Record what happens and leave it in the comments below. Thank you for joining us for Simple Science. We hope you had fun with this week's experiment. And we hope to see you again next week. See you then.